One I was a rough week for injuries around the NFL. The Atlanta Falcons edge rusher supreme, Vic Beasley, is reported to be on the shelf for about a month with a bad hamstring. Carolina Panthers tight end Greg Olson, who went on injured reserve today, broke his foot but could be back in eight weeks. The Packers lost defensive lineman Mike Daniels to a bad hammy, and wide out Jordy Nelson to quad injury last night. New England saw Rob Gronkowski leave with a sore groin. The Bears lost four starters and the Redskins lost three. I talked about it briefly in my latest podcast, but is the NFL's CBA and the practice rules partly to blame too? I think the Detroit Lions are going to be for real this year. Their defense is playing better and the running game looks to be better as well. 3. This was a hard hit. As was this one. But you gotta hand it to Aaron. He became the fastest player in the history of the NFL to reach 300 passing touchdowns last night. 4. Cleveland Browns left tackle, Joe Thomas, has played over 10,000 consecutive snaps. The details of his streak are incredible. Thomas has started in 161 consecutive games, the longest streak among active offensive linemen. During that span, Thomas has played for six different head coaches, blocked for 22 quarterbacks and 69 ball carriers, and has played with 403 teammates, 15 of which made the Pro Bowl. The tackle has made 10 Pro Bowls in his career. Five second-year pro Derek Henry of the Tennessee Titans may be in for an increased role this season. I would not be surprised to see him become the lead back, with the 29-year-old DeMarco Murray becoming the complementary player. Murray is a more of a receiving threat anyway, plus the reduced workload may be best in the long run. The bottom line is the Titans have two very good backs they can lean on. 6. This headline from CBS Sports caught my eye. Best Ravens defense ever after two smothering wins. It sure looks like it. DIDNT Baltimore beat the two teams. Teams from Ohio, the Bengals and Browns both seem pretty bad and are also winless, so let's settle down there CBS. The Ravens are at the Jaguars this week, so we still may not know how good they are. 7. It was a rough week for three top-end fantasy football running backs this week. The Bears Jordan Howard, Dallas Ezekiel Elliott, and Buffalo's Lesion McCoy combined for 30 rushes while only gaining 24 yards. Eight these looked familiar, but this one just looked bad. Jay Cutler was an efficient 24 of 33 72.7% for 230 yards, one TD, and a 101.8 passer rating in his first game back with Adam Gase. Nine as soon as Tom Brady and the Patriots lost in their week one opener, you just knew they'd bounce back with an impressive win. Brady went for 447 yards through the air, he had three TDs, and the Pats rolled the Saints 3,620. 10 guess who's tied for second in the NFL with 16 receptions through two games.